welcome back to my channel. Well, I did a video about how to cover your eyebrows for drag with a glue stick some time ago. To be very honest with you, back in the day I hardly ever covered my brows with a glue stick, so I found out quite a few new tricks and I want to share them with you. So this is my updated brow video. Let's go. So first of all, I'm using a cotton pad and some rubbing alcohol to just cleanse the skin under my eyebrows, just to make sure that the glue will stick. And then it's already time for the glue stick. I'm using this one. I discovered this glue stick because a drag queen friend of mine was here and I did her makeup and she had that glue stick in her makeup kit from another drag queen and it's called the Fixo Stick. It's something Italian. I will link it down below. This to me is way better than Elmer's glue and I just love this. So it's also one of those violet colored glue sticks and I start the exact same way as before, just applying it all around the brow. I'm brushing all the hair upwards with a spoolie. And now comes the disgusting part. I'm just licking my finger and with my wet finger I'm going to press down the hair. So this is the first layer of glue. I let this dry down completely before I do any other layer or any powder or anything. Let it dry down completely and then I'm adding the other glue layers and in the end I press it all down with powder. So while your glue stick is drying, here are some essential things to do while it does. Instagram for your life. Read the essential books of this world. Do your nails. Drink some coffee. Or whatever else you want to do, but just make sure that every layer of glue is completely dried down before you put the next layer on. It's just like with nail polish, if you don't wait for it to dry down completely, the end result could be not as good. Alright, so now the brows feel really really flat. It's still a little bit sticky, the last layer that I put on so I will wait a little bit more, but they feel really flat. So this is the last layer and now I'm going to powder it off with a little powder puff. On the wet glue, pressing the powder into the glue. I brush off all the excess powder. I'm going to cover the entire brow area with Kryolan TV paint stick. And then I'm just blending the paint stick in with a beauty blender and it's enough paint stick on my eyebrow area to actually cover my forehead. I'm going in with this helpful tool. So I'm not using this to paint on my entire brow, but I'm using this to just give myself some guiding lines and some guiding points to just make sure everything is symmetrical. All right, now I hope you can see them on screen. I have my little guiding points on. There are two outward points and there is a line in the middle. And now I'm going in with NYX Professional Makeup's Eyebrow Cake Powder. And this is a little set that has two um, colors for your eyebrows and a little gel. I'm only using the powder colors to paint on my eyebrows. I'm starting to sketch out my brow with the lighter color and a, just a normal eyeshadow brush that is in a medium size and a little bit angled. And the brow that I paint on now is just like a sketch. So this is not the finished brow. I'm going to clean up the edges, but it's just easier for me to sketch out a brow and blend the brow before I care about the clean edges. With a smaller eyeshadow brush or an eyeliner brush in this case and the darker color that is in the set, I'm creating the tail of the brow. All right, so what we have now is a complete mess, but that's fine. This is like the sketched out brow 
on both sides only with shadow and now I'm going in with a concealer brush and some more TV paint stick in NB and I am going to clean up the edges so just take your time and clean up your edges until you're satisfied with your brow and if you clean up too much you can always go in with a little bit more shadow and then clean up again but I mean the difference is kind of significant so this is I mean yeah alright so this could be a brow look on its own but I prefer to go over this with some eyeliner and create the illusion of real hair like existing on my brow And again, the difference is really significant, so you can see here the brow is dark and there is the illusion of hair going on and on the other side it's just, you know, the shadow. So I think this explains why I like to do that. I am using a flat synthetic brush and some white eyeshadow and I'm just highlighting my brow bone. Okay, so that's the updated version about how I cover my eyebrows for drag. This is also usable and really helpful for all of you who want to do some cosplay makeup or some special effect makeup or some Halloween makeup or whatever makeup you want to do where you don't need your natural brows to appear in your face. Um, well, stay tuned to my channel, be sure to follow me on Instagram, see you in a bit, bye!